I'm Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, and I'm so pleased to welcome you to the New York League of Conservation Voters and the New York League of Conservation Voters Education Fund's 2020 Annual Gala. We love LCV, New York and national. No group is smarter and better at pushing the kinds of things we need to save our planet. I just want to give a special thanks to Julie Tai, your entire team, the board members, for the amazing work that you do to protect our precious resources. And congratulations to this year's honorees, the Durst Organization and former New York State Energy Czar Richard Kaufman. While this year's gala looks a little different, the scourge of climate change and urgent need to protect New York's natural resources remains essential and timely. The League of Conservation Voters is an organization that knows that we've got to be decarbonizing our economy and transitioning to clean, renewable sources of energy that will save the planet from climate catastrophe and ensure a livable future, not just for ourselves, but for our children and our children's children. Your work has never been more critical. Every day, this administration continues its assault on the environment and the conservation of our lands and native species. And every day, we see the mounting toll of climate change, including wildfires that continue to rage and threats to our water, land, and air. It's up to each of us to preserve our beautiful island, our air, our water, our land. I've had the opportunity to partner with the New York League of Conservation Voters to drive down asthma rates in the Bronx, to root out lead from public housing, to require power plants to phase out the dirtiest fossil fuels. There are countless people who are alive today because of the work of the New York League of Conservation Voters. I saw what an impact you all can make firsthand as New York LCV led the fight for full and permanent funding of the Land and Water Conservation Fund in Congress. I am so proud of that work and so glad to know I can count on the advocacy of everyone joining us tonight as we continue to fight for clean air, clean water, renewable energy, and open spaces. We need you. And if I become Senate Majority Leader, God willing, with your help, one of, at the very top of our agenda will be climate and really strong, bold action to prevent our planet from being ruined by carbon. Your work is needed now more than ever as we confront an almost daily barrage of attempts to weaken environmental protections. I am proud of the fact that since 2017, no other state attorney general's office has taken more legal action against federal agencies regarding issues related to the environment than the office of the New York State Attorney General. Building a more sustainable future remains a top priority for the Senate Democratic majority. For government to make real strides in combating climate change, we need strong allies and partners like you, the New York League of Conservation Voters. The League is not only a partner in advancing the right public policy, but it's also a watchdog that holds elected officials like me accountable for being responsible stewards of the environment. My time in Congress may be ending soon, but I will leave knowing that your commitment and advocacy will continue to make a difference. I thank you for all you do and congratulate you on another great year of advocacy. Thanks for all that you do and have a great event.